Yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, today we have Beyonce with the doppelganger. We got responses to Lil Wayne and the fifth convo on women. And Meek Mill and AK one-on-one boxing match for charity. I'd love to see that. Yo, once again, thanks for checking us out here at Celeb Source. If this is your first time to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Smash that notification bell, yeah, and hit the like button if you're doing, if I'm doing the most. All right? Now, Florida congressional candidate. K.W. Miller has confused the legendary Queen B with another woman by the name of Anne Marie Lestrasi, which shows the sobering tale of the congressional candidate that went a bit too deep down the rabbit hole on the interwebs. The key is in the term news feed, where if you look at a story, the system feeds you more information along that train of thought. Now, of course, if you're not discerning enough, you'll find yourself furiously clicking away with your eyeballs darting back and forth around your screen, thinking you've stumbled onto some grand conspiracy kept secret for decades, but only you were able to cleverly find out. Now, the congressman foolishly tweeted the following, quote, Beyonce is not even african-american she's faking this for exposure right right because the way to hit it big is to be african-american he continues her real name is Anne marie lestrasi she is italian this is all part of the soros deep state agenda for the black lives matter movement beyonce you are on notice right right beyonce K.W. Miller has figured you out. Your wily scheme of trying to fool us as a white woman pretending to be black has been uncovered. Your days are numbered. Now, Miller turns back to his screen and continues on says, saying the following, all right? Quote, you all do know that Beyonce's song Formation was a secret coded message to the globalists, I certainly hope, Sir, you're trying to run for what again? He continues. The song clearly admitted that she was demonic and that she worshipped in the Satanist churches located in Alabama and Louisiana. She keeps Satanist symbols in her bag. On, on which bag, sir? D did you see these symbols? You see, I just need hardcore evidence. I mean, if I saw her dancing in a circle, with a known Satanist and doing rituals, then maybe I could see where you're coming from. You're like, yo, 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 that dude is wild, man. But I'm not done. Your boy went on to tweet the following. Quote, in the Satanist formation song, Beyonce shouts out a black Bill Gates in the making. Consequently, in 2020, we see Black Lives Matter terrorizing the country at the same time as Bill Gates pushes a COVID-19 vaccination. She was getting the ladies in formation four years ago. Why? Yeah, yeah, Beyonce, why? The candidate goes so far as to state that Becky with the good hair is a Soros operative from the Open Society Foundation, letting us all know to keep your behind off the internet at two and three o'clock in the morning, unless of course, you're looking at Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now, in case you missed it, Meek Mill and DJ Academics have been keeping us thoroughly entertained by having a back and forth diss battle on Twitter. With Meek Mill saying that Academics is toxic for the culture and Academics saying that Meek Mill only threatens people that do not claim to be hardcore gangsters. Well, fans have dug up an old Academics clip. They always, they always find an old clip where academics appears to be ready to put his money where his mouth is and challenges, bruh, to a one-on-one -on -one battle. I, I can't help but think of uh, the Freddie Gibbs Teletubby image. I, I'm sorry. Now, we're not saying that academics wants this kind of smoke now or that he was sober then. We're just saying that at one point in history, AK sounded like he was down for the smoke. Yo, check this clip out. Let me tell you this. I would love to go one-on-one -on -one with Meek, but Meek would never do it. Meek, I got $800,000 right now in my bank account. We can put it up. 
Meek won't do it. I got eight hundred thousand dollars, and if he wants a million, I can put up a million. And who wins gets the million? I have a million, Meek. I, I'm so glad the position I'm in because none of you pussy niggas could ever try to flex with me with money. Never in your fucking life. I got more money than O'Malley and O'Malley's family. Never. I got a million dollars. Me and you. Me and anybody. Me and Vic Mensa. Me and who else? Who, who else don't like me? A million dollars versus any niggas who claim. Nav, I got two million versus you. Navarage. Now, a boxing match for charity would have been a dope move. It, it would be taking a negative emotion and flipping it into a positive one for the culture. Uh, of course, I understand if both were like, yo, 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 you know, I don't feel like having a headache right now. I get you, right? Now, this very moment, uh, I don't feel like that right now. Uh, I believe that people tend to be smarter as they get older. Anyway, now I'm assuming that AK may realize that a slap boxing match or rolling around on the ground wrestling with another dude may, may be a little bit high school. But what do I know? Now, finally, we reported a story where 50 Cent and Lil Wayne were having a conversation. And during the course of the conversation, 50 proceeds to explain how black women in his community are often frustrated with him because of his preference for exotic women. Now, black women who stumbled into that interview were disappointed to say the least and expressed their disappointment in the comment section. Now, yesterday's story focused on Fifth, essentially saying, I like women that look exotic, like they came off of a boat or something from an exotic land. And when black women complain about it, he's like, man, get the F out of my face with all that. Now, the whole time during Fifth's um, statement, right? Lil Wayne was laughing as if he were watching a Jamie Foxx stand-up routine. I mean, he was practi practically doubled over on the couch. Now, I for one think it was the weed, but Lil Wayne's incessant laughter at Fifth's comments left many feeling like he might as well say the exact same thing. Well, if you didn't know, Lil Wayne's daughter decided she wanted to address the comment by Fifth and the laughter by Wayne. Now, she stated the following, quote, I'm black, I'm beautiful, I'm enough, I'm exotic, I'm amazing, I'm one of a, I'm a one of a kind, I'm a one of a mother effing kind. Now, where my black beautiful queens at? Now, that's what's up. It affected her enough that she felt the need to say something and big up her beautiful black queens, the BBQs. But at the same time, it kind of sucks. Even 50's girlfriend, Cuban Link, responded to Fifth's post, but not with anything too heavy handed. She stated, quote, don't worry, ladies. I already knocked him upside his big behind head, close quote, following it up with a happy birthday. Sounded a little bit like she was trying to um, pacify the black ladies in the crowd. Oh, yeah. Fifth turned 45 yesterday and we already posted it. But if you see Fifth. Don't forget to give him some birthday licks. Just be careful not to get punched in the face. Anyway, let us know what you think. Do you believe that Beyonce looks anything like Anne Marie Lestrasi? And who do you think would win in a one on one fight boxing match of sorts between DJ Academics and Meek Mill? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source. For celeb news. You see what I'm saying? And I look and I go, yo, this is why they get mad, they get angry. And you see a lot of sisters, they go, oh, you fuck, you fuck with this kind of girl or that kind of girl. That shit is exotic. <laughs> Stupid. That shit look a lot different from the shit that you see in the neighborhood all the time. It looks like <laughs> that shit look like it came off a boat, baby. Damn, you don't like that motherfucker. <laughs> you don't like that? You go, God damn, what's the matter with you? It feels like something foreign. It feels like something that you can't just get. So in some kind of ways, it is interesting to explore. You know what I'm saying? But they get mad, they get angry. How did you end up with this motherfucker or this that? I'm like, huh? For real. <laughs> they get real I just look at it like, oh, look at this angry. And then my instincts always makes me defensive. So I go, look at this angry black motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. You're trying to fuck up the whole vibe. You understand what I'm saying to you?